What's going on, Pisces? My name is Vince. Welcome to your reading. Pisces, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money, like manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned till the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today. And a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on. Wow, four cups, ace of cups, celebrations on the way. Source is telling you change your energy and change your life. And this really means doing something different than yesterday. So for example, if you wake up, usually you go to work, you know, wake up, eat something, go to work, come home, eat something, sleep. If you do the same thing as yesterday, you will get the same results. But if you do something different, what you're doing is that's your offering to the universe. So for example, imagine before, after work, you hit the gym. You're basically saying, universe, this is Pisces. I understand how the law of attraction works. I understand in order for me to meet my soulmate or get money or have any offering of possibilities of, you know, abundance, I have to do something different to get something different result. So therefore, today I went to the gym before work. Universe says, Pisces, well done. You know the law of attraction. I will bring you a new offering tomorrow. This is it. This, it's this simple. All you have to do is something different than you did yesterday and a new outcome will present itself to you. That's it. It works every single time. Now, you have the Three of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. This is about collaborations. Someone is going to enter your life and want to mentor and guide you and show you how to do things. And right now, Source is telling you that your energy is your business card. This is it, right? Your energy is your business card. I'll give you an example. When you meet someone, you're basically judging them off their energy. That's it. No matter what, you're not a bad person. Like if, if you see a police officer, you know it's a police officer. Why is that? Because of their uniform. Now your uniform is your energy. If your body language is approachable, you have a smile on your face, you feel good. Basically, there's a green light above your head that says, I am likable, approachable, attractive. Come on in and say hi. Now, if you are not feeling good, there's a red light above your head that says, I'm not feeling good. Don't talk to me. Simple as pie. And I'll give you an example. Like if I eat a bunch of junk food the next day, my body is detoxifying. It doesn't feel good. No matter how much knowledge I have, how nice I am, I'm not going to feel good. I'm not smiling around. I'm just like, oh, man, I, I can't wait for this bloat to go. I can't wait for this digestion to go. Right? Sound familiar? doesn't feel good, right? So the last thing you're thinking of, love and creation, you are in fight or flight. No one is thinking of approaching you and talking to you, right? So in order for this not to happen, I have to make sure I don't eat junk food before I sleep. Simple as pie. Now, replace junk food for negative thoughts, watching shows that don't raise my frequency, not getting enough sleep, whatever this is, right? Source is telling you right now, change your energy, change your life, and right now instill new excellent habits. All right, so you got the Queen of Swords and you also have the Devil. Right now, Source is telling you that the mind thinks what the heart knows, so the logical mind is going to bring in confusion while the intuitive heart is going to bring choices and opportunities. Nerve cells that fire together, wire together. So right now, when you are overthinking what to do, you're causing resistance. So I'll give an example. You may or, not, you may or may not believe this. My wife and I, we day trade every single day on average 30 minutes. On average, in 30 minutes, we make no less than $1,200 up to $12,000. You're probably like, why the heck would you be doing tarot reads on YouTube if you're making that much money? This is a service we offer. We don't have to do this, and we're probably not going to be doing this for much longer, right? My wife made it clear to me that this is our offering to the universe and some people donate money which we do but this is us donating time and experience this is how we maintain luck and fortune with god spirit whatever you want to call it right with the universe source is telling you right now i'm telling you that i have to make my my trades are one to three seconds i don't have time to think 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 what to do i'm feeling what to do one two three seconds a trade guys it's called scalping i have tens of thousands of dollars on the line i live a very abundant life because i feel what to do day trading now Trust me when I tell you, you can feel what to eat, feel what to say, feel what to, what to think. You can do this. Trust me. But if it works under the high pressure stakes of day trading, which 0.1% of the time succeed, 0.1% of the people succeed in, trust me when I tell you that you can do it for everything else. All right. Six of swords, 10 of wands. Right now, something unsustainable in your life is causing an energy blockage and you have to clear this energy. So rehearse the behavior you want to demonstrate. That's all you got to do. 
What this really means is if you're having a hard time becoming the person you want to become, you don't know what to do, mimic someone who is already that person. I'll give you an example. Imagine right now, like when I was younger, when I was 10 years old, I always wanted to be a gentleman. I didn't know how to be one, right? Like I didn't have an older brother. There was no internet at the time. I didn't know what to do, but I knew someone who did, James Bond. I watched the movie and I realized, wow, James Bond is such a gentleman. So at that point, I knew that when a woman approaches the table, James Bond stands up, greets her, looks at her in the eye, puts the chair back for her, pours her water first, looks at her, gives her compliments, smiles, is aware, is present in the moment, right? So I learned how to be a gentleman. So therefore, growing up, I had no problem dating any girls because they're like, wow, this kid is bigger gentleman than my anyone, anyone they knew. I was more of a gentleman than my teachers, okay? So therefore, what I'm trying to tell you is mimic the person you want to be. You want to be someone fearless and bold? Great. Go watch the, the movie Woman King. And let me tell you, these women, they are the most fearless women you'll ever see. You want to be someone who is sassy? Be Rihanna. And I say that in a good way, with respect. Like, like she, look at her, she's confident. Who do you like? You like Celine Dion? You like, like Princess Diana? Go be that person, right? It's so easy. All you have to do is match that energy. Now, King of Cups and Judgment. Right now, your angels and guides are telling you someone very intuitive, someone who's also ascending on their spiritual journey, is going to be entering your life. And right now, Source is telling you that when you are inside the jar, you can't see the label. So get outside the jar, become your genuine, authentic self, and then you will attract this person immediately. What does that really mean? Right now, it's important to get like a breath of fresh air, new vision, new insight, new clarity. Change is good. Change is like a new opportunity, right? You got to get outside of the jar to be able to see the label. If you want to really meet who you truly are, this means experiences, right? You have to experience things. This is how you feed the soul. This is how you learn stuff. I could tell you all day long, mustard tastes bitter. What does that do for you? Nothing until you try mustard and you're like, whoa, I see what you mean. Experiences. You're on planet Earth only for one reason, experiences. That's it. Contrast, hot, cold, sweet, sour, joy, pain. Hopefully more joy than pain, right? Source is telling you right now, experience stuff. Do new things. Go swimming. Go for a walk. Read books. Hang with people. Join classes. Go to school. Play instruments. Art. Dance, sing, anything, right? Experiencing things. All right, you got the magician. You got the page of cups. Your angels and guides are telling you that your point of attraction, your power is the mystical, chase the mystical, let go of the particle of matter. This means creativity and imagination. If you are having a hard time using your creativity, you got to use your imagination, right? What that really means is like every entrepreneur was always like, I visualized that business. No one was like, man, I doubted myself the whole way and somehow it just manifested. Nope. They were always like, I could see it. I could feel it. I knew I could do it. And therefore, I made it happen. It all starts with imagination. Remember, the universe can care less if something is real or fake as long as, you make, as long as it feels real to you. Placebo effect is definitive proof of this. So right now, the more unrealistic your imagination is, the better. I would rather have someone on my team that can visualize themselves riding a unicorn in space than be with someone that's like, that's not realistic. That person can stay far, far away from me. I don't want nothing to do with that. The person who is like, man, we should ride a unicorn throughout you know, the galaxy. I'm like, I like your style because let me tell you, it's going to be a whole lot easier uh, brainstorming with you than it is with someone else. All right, Pisces, let's have some money and some love into your life. Write down the following affirmation in the comment section. This is how you quantum entangle with abundance. Your affirmation is everything isn't happening to me. It's happening for me. This is your, cu your cup is half full, not half empty. Everything is a blessing and not a cursing. So the universe loves you and it's happening for you. There's a lesson in this. Write this down in the comment section. Give this video a like and let your angels and guides know that you are ready. All right, now final message from your spirit guides. Final message is forgive. Look at that. Coincidence? Nope. Synchronicity. Of course, anger can always be justified, but then again, so can forgiveness, right? Forgive, forgive, forgive. When you don't forgive, it's like, imagine this. If someone steals from you, are you going to kiss them? No, right? You're like, ew. Okay. So kissing them is lip to lip. Now, when you think of someone, that's beyond lip to lip. That is literally them in your body, in your mind. This is how crazy it is when you think of someone. It's called quantum entanglement. You want to forgive to be able to move on. There is no way you can move on. That's why when I say forgiveness is a gift you give yourself, it's not for them. This is a gift you give yourself. If you love yourself, forgive anything and everybody. 
cut that energetic cord and free yourself from their energy. All right, Pisces, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, love is your superpower.